Ho 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 no! I know those red boots anywhere! おめでとう。実に見事な勝利だったね。Of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be complete if we didn't have to fight Heathcliff. Mm-hmm.わびだと。ここまで何の説明もしないでいたこと本当に申し訳なく思っているなぜそんなことになったのかそしてなぜ私が生きているのかを君たちには説明しなければならないだろう七十五層でキリト君と戦っていた時に発生したシステム障害がことの発端だあ
the blimmin' hollow avatar, then all the blimmin' corrupt counselling program data, then the blimmin' strayer, and now you! You're本来の想定とは違うイレギュラーなボスではあったがねもちろんイレギュラーだからといって君たちの勝利を取り消そうなんていうつもりは全くないそもそも最後のボス戦に遅れたのは私の方なのだから改めて賞賛を送ろうクリ
リドさんと一緒に現実に帰るんですリズシリカ大丈夫だよキリト君だって負けるつもりないんでしょそれはそうだけどみんなで心を一つにしたら絶対負けない私たちって最高のパーティーメンバーだってそう思わない明日のやれやれ保護者として俺も付き合う必要がありそうだな<笑> awesome. みんないいのかうん決意は固まってるキリト君についていくよ<笑>人の意志というものは本当に面白い私はこの光景が見たくて SAO を作り上げたのかもしれないなそのあんたの作ったこの世界を今ここで俺たちが終わらせるよろしいではかかってきたまえ正真正銘のラストバトルを始めよう Let's do this.最後のボスとして相まみえることができて嬉しいよ望み通り決着をつけようキリト君Doing much, is he? Oh, oh, yeah.
Oh yes. Congratulations, Kirito! ヒスクリフ。これほどまでに鮮やかに勝利を収めるとは、私の想定以上だ。さあ、アインクラッドの最後のボスは倒された。君たちが勝利者だ。これから順に。君たち全員が元の世界に戻っていく。ヒースクリフ。あんたは私は戦いに敗れたのだよ。今は創造者の権限でこうして君たちと話をしているが、ここでSAOのルールを自ら破っては。私にとって唯一の現実であるこの世界を否定することになってしまうここでお別れだ君たちがこの世界に来てくれて本当に良かったと思っているよ私の無双の中で君たちは真剣に生きてくれた確かにここはゲームの中の世界だそれでも俺はここも一つの現実だったと思っているそう思ってくれるのかありがとうキリト君<笑> ただいまより、プレイヤーの皆様に緊急のお知らせを行います。現在ゲームは強制管理モードで稼働しております。すべてのモンスター及びアイテムスパンは停止します。ゲームはクリアされました。ゲームクリア。おそらく現実世界の転送が始まってるんだでも本当にこれでクリアなのかしらいまいち実感が湧かないっていうかボスには手こずらされたがそれでも幕切れとしては あっけないもんだったねそうねこの世界がなくなっちゃうなんてやっぱりなんだか寂しいわねうん自分でも気づかないうちにアインクラッドでの日々を楽しんでたんだなって思うあ
俺も同じ気持ちだキリトくんほんといろんなことがあったねキリトくんと一緒に戦って泣いて笑ってゲームの中なのにここで過ごした時間が今までの人生で一番生きてるって感じた俺もそうだよ本当にいろんなことがあったねえ私たち現実に帰っても変わらないよねこの世界で君と作った絆は本物だって信じているから当然だよ現実に戻ったとしても俺の気持ちは変わらない俺は変わらずアスナが好きだおーキュートありがとうキリトくん私も好き愛してます現実に戻ったら真っ先に会いに行くよ待ってるずっと待ってるでもあんまり遅かったら私から会いに行っちゃうかもよ<笑><笑>あ<笑>どうしたんだううん、うん。よく考えてみたら私キリト君の本当の名前を知らなくてそれなのにこんなに好きで愛しててネットゲームっておかしいなって思ったのああ確かに現実とはいろいろ順番が違うからな教えてほしいな現実世界で呼び合えるように俺はキリガヤカズとあ年齢は16歳だと思うキリガヤカズトくん私はユウキアスナ17歳ですカズトくん本当にありがとう君と過ごしたこのかけがえのない時間は絶対に忘れない現実に戻ってからも二人の思い出を作り続けようアスナうんあー It's so cute I've got actually got goosebumps on my arms There's a strange place wants to investigate it, so I believe this is where we can fight a secret character. So let's give it a go. こうして生き残ったおよそ六千人の SAO のプレイヤーたちは現実の世界へと帰ってくることができた。現実に戻ってからまず俺たちを待っていたのは。リハビリの日々だった低下してしまった筋力を元の生活ができるまで戻すのはかなりの苦労があったそれでも直接会いに行きたい仲間たちのことを思うとリハビリを頑張り続けることができた退院して久しぶりに帰ってきた我が家は俺が現実に帰ってきたことを強く思わせるものだったやっと帰ってきたと思うアンド感ともう向こうの世界にはいけないという虚無感が複雑に絡み合うソードアートオンラインこのゲームで死んだプレイヤーは現実でも命を落とすデスゲームこのゲームを作った茅場明彦は凶悪な犯罪者として世の中の人たちの記憶に残るだろう事件解決後に
俺を訪ねてきた対策チームの人間から聞いた話では茅場明彦は長野県の山荘で見つかったらしいしかし見つかった時にはすでに死んでいたナーブギアに残されたログから自ら大脳に超高出力スキャニングを行い脳を焼き切って死んだとのことだしかし不思議なのは茅場明彦が死んだとされる日にち死亡推定時刻とゲームクリアをした日から逆算すると百層での戦いよりももっと前75層で俺と戦った前後に茅場は死んだことになるそうすると百層で戦ったあいつは本当に茅場本人だったのだろうか茅場は別れ際に SAO の世界を自身の唯一の現実であると言っていたもしかすると茅場はネットワーク上に自分自身を残す方法をすでに持っていて不要になった肉体を捨てたのではないかあの SAO を作った茅場ならそれくらいのことはやってしまいそうなそんな気がしたアルベリヒ須郷信行は現在警察で取り調べを受けている俺やアスナの証言と須郷や他国の人間とが接触した記録これらの証拠から VRMMO 内での出来事としては異例の本格的な捜査が始まったもちろんスゴはレクト社から席を外すこととなりアスナとの結婚などという話もなくなったしかし茅場が作ったこのゲームは本当にただのデスゲームだったのだろうか茅場はコンピューターの中に現実とは違うもう一つの現実を作りたかったのではないだろうかそうするとこのゲームの本当の遊び方はクリアすることではなかったのかもしれないと考えさせられてしまう茅場のやったことは到底許されることではないそれでも茅場の作った世界での出会いや別れ仲間と共に過ごしたかけがえのない日々は本当に大切な思い出だその大切な思い出の続きをこの現実でも作り続けていこうかつての戦友と共にさようならソードアートオンライン Wow, okay, is this gonna be the credits now, maybe? Or is this like a little recap? Yeah, here we go, the credits. Oh, at last we have finished the game, guys! It has been such a long, epic, awesome journey. So, to everyone who has watched this from start to finish, or, you know, watched loads of episodes, I actually commend you! <laughs> you know, almost 250 episodes now. I don't even know what number this one is because、uh, at the last floor I probably will have ended up separating the videos out because there's loads of di different sections. But anyway, that was just so, so awesome the ending. And the game does do a really good job of explaining everything, even if you haven't watched the anime. So, as always, guys, I'm going to do kind of like a mini review, thoughts, and impressions of the game, pros and cons, and stuff like that, as I always do when it comes to the end. So, what did I think of the game? Well, as most of you will know, the translations are pretty bad. This is the English Chinese version. 
I know a lot of people say it's the English Japanese version, but the box art says English Chinese and the subtitles and the manual is Chinese and the official listing where I purchased the game was English Chinese, so it is the English Chinese version. Uh, you know, at the end of the day it's on the box and stuff like that. But the voices are Japanese and uh, the translations themselves were pretty awful. But to be honest, most of the time they were pretty funny. Um, I did really enjoy some of the mistakes and some of the words used, they did make me laugh. Apparently Lost Song is going to have better translation and I have mentioned this a fair few times, I will of course be doing Sword Art Online Lost Song. I'm probably going to be getting the PlayStation 3 version because it will be slightly better graphically um, and it's probably going to be easier to film so that's the version I'm most likely going to get. So gameplay wise the game is awesome, um, it seemed quite overwhelming at first with all of the different skills and you know different types of combat you can use. You don't have to use dual wielding which is Kirito's signature type of combat, you can use all sorts of different weapons and stuff so it can be a bit overwhelming but just feel uh, get a feel for the combat and see which you prefer to use. Obviously I stuck with dual wielding because I wanted to stay true to Kirito. Um, I obviously changed his hair to red because I have red hair and uh, I wanted to make it feel more personal to myself but I still wanted to go with dual wielding and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the sword skills though I will agree with someone in the video comments that said they seem a bit slow. It would have been nice if the animations were a bit faster for those but I still enjoyed them nonetheless. Um, the hollow area was an interesting area, it was quite tough at the start so I did do some levelling before I ventured into there which did help me out and I really really enjoyed Philia as well as a character and uh, you know it would be really nice to see her come into you know the anime if that will ever happen which I very much doubt but it would be nice to see her in the anime to be honest or see her character develop more as well. Um, I did really enjoy her because when she came back from the hollow area, once you've cleared that, um, you know, there were some scenes with her and, um, you know, later on they just seemed to stop a little bit, which was a shame, but I did really enjoy them. Um, what else can I talk about? Some of the monsters were pretty samey. Oh, okay. I need to shut up now. This is in the real world. I'll finish off my little review after this bit. Okay guys, so I instead decided to cut the video there and don't worry, I will be showing you this cutscene after we defeated Floor 100 and are in the real world on another episode, so don't forget to check out a link to the playlist in the video description. So as I was saying, some of the monsters were pretty samey in the game. There were some bosses that were reused actually for floors, so there was like harder versions later on, and um, a lot of the same monsters in the field as well. But it was just enough to keep you interested and just enough to make you uh, not feel bored, at least in my opinion anyway, but fingers crossed that's something that's resolved in Sword Art Online Lost Song, that there's going to be more variety of monsters and more unique bosses and things like that. At least I hope so. I'm really glad that they kept in the last hit reward as well um, to get special items from the bosses, although I won't be able to get the trophy because I actually sold some of the last hit items and also uh, gave some of them away to the females. You can actually get them back from the females, but if you sell them them, then you will be out of luck for that trophy. So I definitely won't be getting a platinum on this game. I'll probably have to play through it again, but because I'm not much of a trophy hunter, um, I probably won't bother doing that. I'll probably just get the remaining ones that I know I can get, like um, maxing out the relationship status with the females. Which, by the way, I will mention here, there are some more bed scenes. I know I did a video that featured all, quote-unquote, of the female bed scenes, but that's not all of them. Some of the girls actually have a couple. So I have actually got some filmed, and I will be checking again to see if there's any more with each female and uh, doing more videos of those as well so again there's actually quite a bit more I need to cover guys um, there's a little cutscene which I mentioned earlier after this bit then there's endings with each of the females which I will do and make vid separate videos for each female I won't be fighting or recording the fights again I'll just be recording the pieces of um, you know cutscene and storyline and editing them all together in a nice little uh, 
uh, packaged video for each female so you guys can just see the unique pieces of text and unique en endings for each female basically. So graphically the game is okay but then again you can't really expect much when it's a PSP game uh, slightly remastered for the PlayStation Vita with some minor upgrades but you know it still looked pretty nice it was still colourful and vibrant but obviously the next game Lost Song we should expect great things from that graphically and already it's looking really nice on the Sony PlayStation 3 and I'm super excited to cover that. The music was amazing as well in the game and there was a lot of variety of weapons and uh, st stuff to do with upgrading and pieces of armour to collect. There's some rare weapons which I know about which I may film myself getting those. I do kind of want to film myself getting the legendary sword Ragnarok which those of you who have watched the anime or read the uh, manga or light novels will know about. So uh, I will try and get that, fingers crossed. I know how to get it and where to get it. It's just a case of going through the process and getting it um but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed the game it did end up being my uh, number one vita game of 2014 and that's because i've played it the most um i recently got freedom wars around the time of making that video and i hadn't played enough of it to actually put that at number one but um, Sword Art Online has been thoroughly enjoyable and despite the English, <laughs> um, you know, I've still really enjoyed the game and I overlooked it really. And yeah, I just loved seeing the characters in the game, seeing the characters get developed. Um, there was a lot of fan service in this game and I know a lot of people are either lovers of fan service or haters of fan service, but personally, I don't mind it. What I didn't like, and I spoke about this with someone, and I find it really hard to explain, is that they made the women seem stupid a lot of the time to cause these inappropriate, embarrassing moments. And it wasn't really necessary. You can still have those moments without making the women look thick. Like, you know, they'd run out screaming out of the shower with a towel on. And, you know, then they get annoyed at Kirito, despite the fact that they've run out with their towel on. And they get annoyed at Kirito and blame Kirito and call him all sorts of nasty names like pervert and stuff like that. And that slightly irritated me, but it wasn't right away. It was like towards the end of the game after I've seen a lot of those types of cutscenes and I guess it slowly uh, grated on me and got on my nerves uh, as the game progressed so I'm hoping that that's something that gets changed in the next game or those scenes are you know like further apart so that it's not as much as a little niggle of mine that irritates me but other than that I enjoyed the fan service um, you know there was some really funny moments a lot of you guys enjoyed it in this let's play walkthrough I mean some of those episodes are like my most popular in this series you perverts you <laughs> but yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it so I've spoke about the music, I've spoke about spoke about the graphics, I've spoke about the gameplay. Well, I liked the floor clearing part and I also liked the hollow area part. And there's still a lot more to do in the hollow area and stuff. Um, when it comes to this game now, I wouldn't say I have finished this Let's Play walkthrough. As I said earlier, there's a couple more things I want to do. But I could really continue it until the next game comes out. Just doing videos here and there, just to keep the hype going until I do Sword Art Lost Song. So I am consider considering that guys but obviously at a certain point once I've done uh, all the female endings and um, I've got a couple of side missions that I didn't do with floor clearing you know where you pick them up from NPC Kirby so I might do some of that like finishing off some of them and then after that if I decide to do any more videos of this game it will just be as and when so don't expect them to be every other day or maybe not even weekly I'll just do like things as and when um, but if there's anything specifically you guys want to see or you want me to cover then leave comments down below on this video because I will consider it um, you know and I will think about it if I have got the time if there's anything specific extra that you want to see that I haven't already shown in the walkthrough so marks out of 10 for this game I'd have to give it a 9 out of 10 uh, I can't give it a 10 because of the English and the slight niggles of the uh, you know making the women look stupid in the cutscenes and the repetitive monsters but other than that it is a really excellent game there's hours and hours of content at least over 100 hours of content and that's you know clearing all the floors and that and and doing the hollow area and stuff like that so i do highly recommend the game it is an excellent game to get on the playstation vita you don't need to have seen the anime to enjoy the game it does an excellent job of explaining the story but you will feel more connected to the characters 
if you watch the anime um, season one and even season two as well because there's a secret hidden character which I will be showing you um, in the next few episodes or so that you unlock after doing floor 100 and getting Philia back from the hollow area so you will be seeing that as well and you won't know who that is unless you've read the manga or you know the light novels whatever you want to call it or watched season two of the anime. So that's it from me. Don't forget to stay tuned for more episodes of Sword Art Online Hollow Frag Fragments. Thank you for supporting me on this Let's Play walkthrough. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.